Hello guys and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's actually Tuesday the 16th which is pancake day and for some reason I think because I filmed two sets of different pancakes in the last week I feel like I'm kind of done with pancakes. I don't know why. I don't know if that's boring. But yeah it's pancake day. I have done two different types of pancakes. I think you've actually seen them in the previous vlogs. I did one with blueberry and peanut butter and then then did one with chocolate, coconut yogurt and banana. Both were delicious. I'm not too sure which one was my fave. So yeah, so they are up live. If you do want to go and still check them out, obviously this is going to be far from pancake day. But if you do fancy a little treat to yourself or just to make some pancakes, then I will leave both of the reels down below. But I just wanted to check in and check if you're all okay. I just also wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I've just seen so much love and seeing you guys enjoying my vlog so much is just so lovely and just so nice to hear so it gets me actually really excited to do each weekly vlog because then I feel like I'm getting better I'm getting used to it I have had I think the last two weekly vlogs I've had a bit of like a not not much, maybe more so of like I don't want to do this but I had no like energy to film these vlogs but I've edited them back and I think they're okay but you know when you know in yourself that they're not as good as they can be or I needed to put more energy in it I would say but I've just done my hair I tried to do my hair the other over the weekend a different way with the GHD rise and absolutely just loved the kind of texture it created so I've just done it again and I filmed it for my reels but I've been like when I was doing all the videos I was literally just like playing with my hair so much that it's dropped which is fine it just still looks put together but it doesn't look as like slick as it usually does and I think I really like it it looks really full as well which is really nice so I just did that and then I've also done a kind of like get ready with me video as well edit pancakes and admin and yeah I'm just super busy at the moment which I'm so 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 grateful for I've just received some parcels I got from Emma Wallace I honestly have been so excited for these to arrive I like I can't believe it so they sent me over like a pdf to pick kindly a pair of pajamas i mean <laughs> how cute are these pajamas dear amelia thank you so much for supporting our brand and we love your star hope you like the set of pajamas and we're looking forward to seeing you star them oh my god honestly thank you so much to the emma wallace team they are absolutely beautiful as you probably may know i'm an absolute sucker for some silk pajamas so i'm definitely going to show them on with you but first i'm going to crack on with the other boxes kindly got this unreal <laughs> I've been spoiled today. Unreal parcel from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is all her skincare products. So I'm very, very excited. I'm a huge fan of her magic cream. And I've also been trying this serum. This is it. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum Crystal Alexa. And it has like hyaluronic acid in there. It has like vitamin C. So yeah, that is why I have been trialing it out. I was kindly gifted it previously and have been loving it. So that's very handy. So we have a goddess skin clay mask, ooh, some lip oil, some dry sheet masks, which, I, which I've tried before and I never got it. So I, uh, I thought they were um, expired and went dry, <laughs> but actually they're designed to be dry sheets. Silly Mill, so a super radiance resurfacing facial. Oh my God. Oh, wow. I'm going to have a little look online of how to use that. We also have the Charlotte Magic cream light lightweight miracle moisturizer that's actually quite good actually because i do find the magic cream quite heavy so i can use the magic cream at night and then you have the magic night cream and then also the charlotte magic cream this is the cleansing ritual miracle spa in a jar duo oh honestly i feel spoiled so i'm gonna probably give these a go or share these with you during the vlog so i'm gonna actually take a picture of those 
for my stories and then probably be lunchtime. I'm really hungry today even though I made a large bowl of porridge. I think it's because I went for a run so feeling very hungry. I think this weather as well is a little bit a little bit gloomy. But yeah, I've just done my normal makeup. I'm just really happy with my hair. I think it just looks a bit more put together. I did like a really heavy mask on my hair for a whole day on Monday and then I took it out today and it was glorious and then I've actually put in some purple shampoo and I think that's done wonders to the colour of my hair because it's going a little bit yellow and as you can see my roots are so bad so I needed to cool down the brass to help with the, the outgrow of my roots which is not great. Okay I have just put on the most fabulous pyjamas ever. Oh my god I'm so obsessed. These are from Emma Wallace and they are pure silk and they are in the most gorgeous paisley print. I am utterly, I'm blown away how beautiful these are. I actually just want to wear them in the summer. I want to wear them with bikinis. I want to wear them to the airport. I want to wear them to Ibiza with a little crop top underneath. I am so obsessed. These are too good for like literally for, the, for going to bed. I feel so fancy. I absolutely love them. I just love the detail of them. The quality is absolutely beautiful. The fit is lovely. It's got a really good elastic waist. Honestly, I am so obsessed with these pyjamas how cute are these so a humongous thank you to emma wallace for sending these over they are very up my street so i will definitely leave these down below absolutely obsessed they're so so beautiful right so just received my parcel from designer which is so exciting why do all the big parcels literally arrive on the bin day? All the bins are done now, and now I get the big boxes. This is hap this happened, I think, last week and the week before. It was just classic, but I'm so excited. But yes, so I've just posted a weekly vlog. I might be posting another one Thursday, depending how I feel. It's got a H&M haul in it, so I feel like I should get that posted because... <laughs> they're gonna run out soon because I feel like H&M goes out of stock pretty quickly but Hells and I have finished a very long productive day today which is now six o'clock we've just pulled ourselves away from our desks I'm actually loving the office I feel like I'm a bit more productive because I'm like you're working I'm working let's get it on yeah working working, working. Hells is chef tonight do you want to be chef tonight? I want to be chef tonight. How's this chef tonight? She is, we are cooking butter bowls. We've kind of planned the recipe in our heads. Bit of quinoa, roasted peppers and sweet potato. Bit of broccoli. Oh, are we saving the broccoli for tomorrow, my love? Oh yes, we were. Well, and then we've got and then I was mange too. Like a peanutty sauce to go on top. We do love a bit of peanut in this house, um, <laughs> literally. Avocado, I can't remember what else we said to go on there. Monge too. Monge too. Say chickpeas, do you want to do some chickpeas? Oh yeah. Do yeah. a bit of chickpeas, something, something like that. So yeah, so a very healthy dish tonight. I'm gonna put on some Gilmore Girls. I'm going to go through the Desenio Prince review tomorrow. I just had like, I felt like my plans for today was a bit up in the air, which was fine. I just ended up being quite busy on like the admin side of it all, just sorting everything out. So very grateful and very busy at the moment. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna show you the result of our dinner. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing at the night. Chef House outdone herself. Tells it looks incredible. <gasps> and then is this a little satay? It's only a little umami dressing. Umami? Oh my god, it looks unreal. <gasps> Thanks, Chef House. You gotta tug to this and watch get more girl. This is lunch. I've done like a courgette and leftover cabbage 
omelette and it's come out green Ooh. Ooh. so there you go my love thank you oh that was a delicious lunch oh I, I don't know what it is i went to bed at like half nine this morning and i feel exhausted i've had two coffees this morning as well so i don't really want to have another one so i might when i sit down to do some admin work i think i'm going to have a cup of tea oranges i thought i would come on here and go and do a little bit of an unboxing with you with desenio i am very excitedly doing a collaboration with them over on my instagram but i thought i'd actually show you like i find it easier to talk through items and bits and bobs like that over on on here because I can just then ramble. Oh my god, I've just opened it. So beautiful. So I ordered some prints. Firstly, I ordered a large. I ordered a large one because I thought that looks really lovely there. And then I also ordered these black frames together so I can just have a little play around. And then yeah, I ordered one large one because I saw this lady. She had this beautiful print, which I'm going to show you now. This one. And she actually had it in the middle like that. That looks stunning. So I thought that would look really cute if I went and bought like a little border for it. So yeah, so let's go through the pictures so first up i got this one which i thought was really stunning but i just thought it was such a gorgeous print and just really loved the colors of it i then ordered this one which i thought was so beautiful and it's this hand painting of a flower pot i thought that was really cute and i just love the aesthetics of it i just thought this was like a really nice print especially for like a spring summer vibes i thought that was just really beautiful and then i got this one i got this one because i thought the coloring would go really well with that um the plant pot it's just like a little kind of like a one one line drawing life of an artist one life one story i just thought it was like a really lovely print i love the color of it it's like this really nice muted beige and i feel like these type of prints are going to be so easy to style around the house i also got i feel like i've got a very very like one vibe for this haul but i also ordered this print which is it's, it's like stockholm gallery and i thought that would look really nice with the plant pot as well so i've ordered quite a couple just to Kind of play around with it they're really reasonable as well and i feel like when you've got your frames i feel like that's that's it you can keep those forever and these you can just keep playing with i love this one i saw one on john lewis i think it was my friend olivia she has quite a similar one of the dove and it looks absolutely stunning so when i saw this i thought this was so beautiful and i think yeah even that one there that looks really lovely and then i also got is this the last one yeah this is the last one i also got this one which i thought was quite like easy and fun i saw my friend chloe also have this one and i just thought it was really beautiful so yeah i think i'm gonna play around with styling good morning guys looking very fresh faced oh my god i look so shiny and pale and not good um but it is thursday morning and the sun is shining <laughs> honestly i think i say this in every vlog when the sun comes out but it makes my day it makes me very happy I'm just very ready for spring and summer now love winter but i'm done with it now but the reason i'm coming on here before i started rambling away is that i kindly received an odd box so that is why you were seeing me very fresh faced in my dressing gown. I'm about to film a job, so robe is required. But yeah, I wanted to quickly pop on here because this morning a lovely odd box arrived. They kindly gifted us this box and we've been actually a quite a big fan anyway because Helena's parents kindly, they've got a subscription and basically, is it that your mum sometimes finds them like she gets too much? Yeah, and my dad has like this main case stuff issues and there was like lots of oh so there's a lot coming. yeah so there was a lot of vegetables here and there which weren't good like weren't right for them their meals and things like that so here and there they've been kindly sending them our way instead of cancelling their subscription which is very very kind of them however i believe oddbox has seen that that we have 
been sharing our recipes and things like that and they've kindly sent us a box and this is actually the large box and we've actually also requested a vegetable box instead of you can get a lot of di different options with odd box you can get the small medium or large box you can have just fruit box just vegetable box or a bit of both and the kind of story behind odd box is that they're they're basically given ugly vegetables and fruit and life fruit and vegetables that don't make it through the cosmetic or other process in supermarkets yeah so they're given that ugly fruit and veg of chance and there's nothing wrong with them every time we've received it's actually bonkers how god i haven't used that word in a very long time bonkers how like when we receive the the vegetables it's fine like they're really good and like they look normal don't they it's actually mad the like process of picking vegetables to go into a supermarket madness but long story short i thought i would unbox it with you and just show you what we've got this week like i said this is a large vegetable box we decided to go for the vegetable box just because it suited us a lot more we don't actually we eat fruit but we eat it in our smoothies and we're very like content with that and yeah we're not massively like wanting loads of fruit if that makes sense we're happy with our frozen fruit we love our bananas and we have like frozen mango frozen berries and spinach in the fridge and i personally think it lasts longer and is a bit more cost effective if it makes sense i always feel like i buy a punnet is it a punnet punnet of blueberries and i eat them in one go so that's not good Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing under the night sky When you took Literally look at how vibrant and colourful this is This is so beautiful So I'm going to leave Oddbox down below And you can go and check them out Even if you want to try like a small batch Just to give it a go But look how beautiful these peppers are They're absolutely stunning Got celeriac, kale, potatoes Jackie Pina is tonight so perfect timing loads of carrots absolutely obsessed and honestly this feels like a little clip of health very delicious what can we do with artichokes can you roast those artichoke dip or artichoke dip roasted Ooh. it says like welcome to odd box and it kind of tells you about it yeah it gives kind of like a brief of odd box welcome to the community fight against food waste over a third of all food produce goes to waste every year how to enjoy your very first box it kind of shows you how what to do like inspiration so they have a blog on um odd box which kind of gives you ideas of what to cook and i think they kind of do it for like every kind of box to inspire you need to make changes to deliveries they're super easy which veg you should eat first so retain the kale for longer by spreading the leaves out in sealed containers our favorite recipes this week vegetable pasta bake oh that sounds amazing and also they show you what vegetables you have rescued this week and like recipe ideas so if we go down to artichokes if you're not too sure like what to do with them artichokes and you can fry them like where to put them cool dry dark place so yeah really good and also as well that what we've experienced with odd box you can you can have a, actually have a look on the website to see what you're getting that week and if there's something in there that you definitely know that you don't like then you can say that you don't want it and they usually kind of change it up for you so i'm gonna put this away i'm gonna actually go and get our little vegetable basket put this away and yeah start the day my hands are less lean so quickly this is our basket we i think i might have probably mentioned this in another vlog but i kind of got sent a really cute hamper from my friend katie and um, yeah we're making use of this do i put the celeriac in there or should i put that in the fridge uh, i think we'll be okay for a few days yeah what in there but whilst we're making room in the fridge. yeah so we put all like our potatoes the artichokes can go in there onions yeah all the like dry stuff that can go in there and then this is our cool room we call it the cool room uh, like utility room we've actually got a wash going on at the moment but it's so handy i don't know if i've actually shown you this properly but um we're gonna turn this into a bit of a gonna make it a bit more like handy dandy in here so we're actually gonna get a wine rack for up here and um just to kind of keep it all together and then we're thinking about actually getting some hooks here so we can hang the ironing board we can hire like this is our like washing bin bag for like towels and makeup um pads also to hang the the rail up so it just actually creates a bit more space and a bit, a bit more sufficiency in here but then also as well we've got this like little cupboard up here um, which needs fixing and yeah it's got like our gin stuff and iron and stuff like that so yeah this 
needs a little bit of TLC, but like not massive things. I don't know if you actually can hear me over the washing machine. Organising bits and bobs, so it just makes it a lot easier in that. Good afternoon guys so we are wrapping up and going outside to go for a little walk and go to source this thursday i feel like i haven't said that yet it's jackie p night i've literally just edited and posted last week's vlog i ended up posting two vlogs last week because i didn't post any vlogs the week before because i was just trying to get out lots of valentine's content so yeah so two vlogs last week so hope you enjoy them well hopefully you've already watched them if you haven't go and watch them after but <laughs> it's Thursday night so we're gonna go for a walk go to source we need to top up um, our tamari which is like a gluten-free soy sauce and our washing up liquid Hells is taking the Italian wine out so it's at room temperature <laughs> for when we get home and we put our Jackie peas on we need some red red wine snap 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 let's get going so let's go <laughs> La da 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 da, someone forgot her mask. I got you a treat. What? <laughs> Jokes what? a little bit loud. Me and Hells aren't eating chocolate. But I found some without chocolate. What? Which ones? They're like, they're like lemon, goji berry. Oh my god, babes. Ooh, so these are the snacks for the way home. Yeah. So guys, this is how you open a bottle of wine. Make a mark with the sharp end of the corkscrew round the top of the bottle lid where there's a ridge. Some bottles come with a handy little catch, much like a gum wrapper that you can open it with, but not this one. Once you've removed the top, put it back to its neutral position on top, put the spike into the middle, press down firmly and start Twist. Feel the resistance and the arms start to raise. Well, this is a particularly shit corkscrew. So you have to put it in quite a long way. Hold the bottle for support if you need. As I said, shit corkscrew. So we'll continue with the upward motion of the arms. Pulling down. Just the best sound, isn't it? Shame. Shame that the camera lens is all steamed up. Hello. This is tonight's red wine. A nice Italian from this wine society. Please get in touch for collabs. Thank you. Today's wine. <laughs> Should we do the app thing? Notes of blackberries. Oh, who needs an app when you have Helena Gray? <laughs> Quite dry, medium tannins. Are you making this up now? Nope. <laughs> she's already, she's already done. She's already done. Oh, kill more oh girls. Oh, oh. Yeah, um. I'm gonna, oh, let's do like a really cool thing. So I'm gonna snap my fingers and it's gonna fill up, ready? Oh, wow. <laughs> like magic. <laughs> How did it get there? <laughs> we also just had a little bit of a firework display, so I feel like everyone is having the new Friday feeling. <laughs> Literally, I was in, earlier I was in the shop and these two girls were in there and she was like, you have to basically in source, you have to kind of show them what you've got in your bags. And this girl was like, I got this, I got that. And she was like, giving it all that. She's like, and I got this. And she was like, it's Thursday. It's the new Friday. And I was just in the back like, amen, sister. <laughs> and then we just had fireworks. So I feel like, no. I gave her. <laughs> I gave her an energy ball and she's gone hyper. But yeah, what a good Thursday afternoon. Cheers, my love. Cheers. Oh! I like the small one a lot. Yeah. The big one looks like it could do with the poster being the full size a bit. Yeah. But do you have any more credit? I like the like the vibe of it though. Mm. Nice. I like the vibe of it. Kind of like an art studio that. Tell me more about it. So guys, welcome to my art studio. Thank you so much for joining us. So as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the Desenio prints. I think I've told you that I was doing a collaboration on them. And this is what we've decided. I literally feel like I'm at an art gallery right now. <laughs> Do I you, you look Do like a blazer. <laughs> Your Thursday blazer. Um, I had to wear a blazer to like for like work 
vibe. No, yeah, I love these, especially for like going into spring, summer. I feel like these are like summery. The more I look at you, the more art dealer vibes you're giving me with the roll okay, neck. Guys, these are going for a million pounds each. Please contact me if you want any further information. The artiste is currently away. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this like sip of wine is going Too much of this. Though. Bye, Queen. But we're in the outside and cold. <laughs> but I'm just doing a little flower run for one of my very, very, very good friends. Um, she just got a new job, so I'm doing a little surprise for her from her mum and got her some flowers. She actually lives around the corner, so I'm gonna go and knock on her door and surprise her. And how beautiful are these? But it is, I think it is literally about to chuck it down, isn't it? So we're nearly home, House is gonna go back and I'm gonna carry on to my friend's house and surprise her out. I've actually noticed that my hair is getting very dark at the moment. It's not a pretty sight. It's Friday, it's 4.30 and I feel like everyone now, if you keep watching the vlogs, you know what that means. Wait, are we having it now or is it cooling off? Bridge. I've got a mini moe. Darling. <laughs> Darling! Darling! Look at that little creepy hello! <laughs> uh, whatever you want, darling. So, should we open the little one? <laughs> Let's open the little one. I love our Fridays, I love our Thursdays. We just have a great time. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday. Helena was like, we have, what did you say earlier? We don't have Thursdays anymore. Thursdays do not exist. <laughs> yeah, so doing some champers, Hells is going on a little social call with her work, and I'm gonna go on a social call with my gals, and then we'll catch each other on the flip side. The busy 4.30, I mean, I just want to drink champagne and finish my work. I've got a lot of work. So I think Amelia's gonna be working this weekend. So I've lit this Charlie Farris candle. Oh, it smells incredible. It's Blackberry and Bay and oh my goodness, it's unreal. Lovely. Oh, how good does that look? Okay. Gonna grab my champers and talk to my besties. Hello guys, so I've just had a lovely call with my girls. Ended up being three hours long, well, nearly three hours long. And we were drinking champagne and we were just chatting. It was just so nice, I just missed them so much. But now me and Hells are starving. We just got, we've been trying out the Jerusalem artichokes. And they taste like radishes. So we're actually, before I start, we're making a curry. We're doing a curry tonight. We are on the champagne and we're gonna do like a potato, chickpea and spinach curry. Um, but we got some Jer Jerusalem, I'm struggling with that word, Jerusalem artichokes in the curry because we got that from the odd box. So we just, we got quite a few. So potatoes. odd box potatoes. So we're just trying to like use them sparely and no, not sparely, like use them in different meals and just Give them a go. Did they say about using the artichokes in anything else? Or was oh. it just like salads and things like that? In the book? Yeah. Roasted. Roasted. Mash. Soup. So maybe we're the new artichoke queens. queens. Because we're putting it in a curry. But we'll let you know. But we've just tried them raw because apparently you can eat them raw. And they literally taste like radishes. So that's what we're doing. So we've got Jerusalem artichokes white potato, sweet potato, we're frying off some onion, garlic, mustard seed, fennel seed, and some chilli. Are we gonna put anything else in there? We're gonna put some like garam masala in yeah. there. Yeah, the onions are fried, What do you think? I think they're pretty much done. Yeah, sexy. They look brown and oh, sexy. Right. Mustard, seed? mustard seeds. So it's looking pretty coriander. good. Coriander. Chilli. So that's good. So we're going on to the next step. Do you want to do the next step for me, baby girl? No measurements. I'd say like two, three spoonfuls. Yeah. And then you mix this in and you kind of just let it cook on a dry heat. A lot of people don't like coriander. Just a little bit in. Cilantro. Yeah, go on. Spice it up. Bit of turmeric. Oh, 100%. Don't wanna be shy. Good 
morning guys it is sunny it is lovely outside me and house have just got ourselves zhushed up first time put on makeup Ooh. in a long time ah. and we have decided to go for a little ponder around clapham go get some coffees maybe a little pastry or a little cheeky tree um if i can find a gluten-free and vegan treat <laughs> Which is not chocolate, because we're not taking... We're doing oh, chocolate. It's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. No chocolate for Len. Um, but the sun has Shine. come out. It is shining. So yeah, we just got ourselves ready. I'm wearing... This is actually... I don't know if it's still available. I'll leave it down below if it is. Um, but this is from Karen Millen, and it's been too cold to wear. So finally, I get to wear it. But I feel like my hair's very, like... I want to say, like, 80s. It was, like, today... Like it's very flicky and foofy. And then I'm just wearing my Prada cat sunglasses, Shazam, and my Chloe bag. And that's me done. I don't have to bring like, a sh are you gonna bring a scarf or gloves or? No. No. I'm gonna go optimistic that it's spring. It's spring. Spring has sprung. So yeah, and yeah, we had a really nice curry last night. Although me and Hell's <laughs> feeling it. Um, <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, I didn't realise, we actually drank quite a lot last <laughs> night. We had a bottle between us, plus a mini moe, so we had a bottle and a glass each. Yeah. Well, no, we had half a bottle and a glass each, and then we went on to gin. And we had what two is... different types of gin. I yeah, we had two different types of gin, so that done us off pretty damn we good. Smelled, we, we smelled fresh this morning. <laughs> No. We found felt fresh this morning. So many ladybirds around here. Does anyone know? If your house has loads of ladybirds, come on then. Are they poisonous? No. I always was told like Only when you were the orange ones. I was always told when I was a kid. The red ones are good. <gasps> Not the black ones, don't touch the black one. Why? I think the black ones are bad as well. This dude looks a bit up hurt though. Looks like a bit spray. It's, it's I always spray. like I find them and I just like ping them over to him. <laughs> Maybe it was me. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go around Clapham. There's the Venn Street Market, which is on um, down, what road is it on? Oh, Venn Street. Venn Street. <laughs> and yeah, we're just gonna go and grab a coffee, grab a little, little treat, because we haven't had breakfast yet. And yeah, just enjoy our mornings. Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder, love a little louder. Hello guys. So it is Sunday now. House has actually been out for the morning just going for a run and like a really big walk. But I just really wanted to blitz the house. And it looks incredible. I am so happy with how fresh and amazing this place feels. I've done the whole entire house. I've actually put a plant in here. I don't know if that just it works or not. I'm going to wait until house comes back. She literally should be home any second but i've done a big blitz i've also organized my depot bits and i always put like a little um present in there but yeah everywhere just looks really nice i've just got the windows open i've done my bedding i've just done fresh bed i'm just about to sit down and do some more admin i'm just going to write out all the addresses for depop and yeah just sort out for next week just feeling very content the sun is shining i just feel fresh been lovely so i'll probably catch you guys in a minute when we do a sunday roast we might go for another walk later um and enjoy like sunset or something but yeah it's feeling very lovely and fresh in the house and oh my god last night i had um time off of um vlogging and i made this like tuna steak i'll leave a picture here it looked it was it looked and it was incredible very proud of myself so yeah i'll catch you guys in a bit Oh my goodness, roast is done. We have done like a um, white cabbage. Um, what's it called? How I usually do the red cabbage. Um, with the paprika and balsamic, just super easy. I stir fried it off and then like cooked it in the oven. And then lots of broccoli and peas. And then the classic, infamous. Is infamous the right word? No. Oh yeah. Infamous, infamous Tesco vegan sausages because they're just unreal. And we've also done uh, the Jerusalem artichoke, uh, and we tried them out and they're really good. And um, butternut squash and white potato. 
So we're gonna tuck into this. Bit of Gilmore Girls, bit of red wine. Oh, yeah. Red, red wine. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the vlog here and catch you guys later. <laughs>